Narratives entice audiences to consider relationships between storytelling and power. William Shakespeare's play Othello and Christopher Nolan's film The Dark Knight explore the idea that storytelling leads to power over others through corruption and manipulation of the strong-minded through the Machiavellian and the malcontent. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines power as a possession of control, authority, or influence over others. Stories are powerful manipulators of reality. Narratives shape our world, and the demonstration of the great chain of being drives the plot of Othello, reinforcing that we should maintain our status and not attempt to rise above it. Similarly, in Nolan's film The Dark Knight, maintains the ideology that much like Othello, honesty, integrity, and honor should be protected above all, and without it, the mighty will fall. Shakespeare's Othello represents society during the Renaissance, during the time King James ruled England. Othello is a narrative that shapes our world as the key themes in the text like prejudice and appearance versus reality are still evident in today's society. Power in the play is gained through storytelling, mainly seen through Iago. Iago is an archetypal villain who is distancing himself from society and a typical Machiavellian, causing chaos for the sake of it. Iago uses stories to gain power over many characters throughout the play, especially Othello, a decorated war general from North Africa, serving for Venice. From the get-go, Iago is plotting to destroy Othello, telling people stories of Othello, turning them against him, thus gaining power. Shakespeare uses foil characters of Othello and Iago to contrast the nobleman to the Machiavellian. Shakespeare uses literary techniques to show the effects of storytelling and its links to power. Iago tells the narrative that Desdemona is not to be trusted, as she did deceive her father marrying you, planting a seed of doubt in Othello's mind, creating a distrust between the couple, as if she can lie to her father, she can lie to Othello. Thus, Iago gains a place of power over Othello through his storytelling. Shakespeare uses dramatic irony throughout the play to show the blindness of Othello to his surroundings, causing his consequent downfall, as the audience knows the plan of Iago and can see through him. However, Othello cannot. Strangle her in bed, even the bed she hath contaminated. By this stage in the play, Othello has lost trust in Desdemona through the work of Iago. This line reinforces the fact that Iago has Othello on his strings like a puppet, ready to do his gruesome will. Nolan's The Dark Knight is a film representation of post-9-11 society. The Dark Knight is a modern narrative that shapes our world as themes represented throughout the film are evident in today's society, like justice versus corruption and the loss of love, much like in Othello. Nolan uses foil characters like Harvey Dent and the Joker to present the effects of narratives told by characters and their links to gaining power. Some may argue that Nolan's Joker is a terrorist, however he has no political intentions. The Joker would fall into the category of sociopath, as he is able to show little to no empathy and remorse for his actions, or, and his intentions are about sending a message, or he could be an anarchist, because introduce a little anarchy, upset the established order and everything becomes chaos, which is exactly what he is doing. Nolan contrasts the, ba the Joker and Batman through the reversing of colour. The Joker wearing bright clothing and Batman wearing black, similar to the black versus white theme in Othello. Joker tells stories to gain power over people and eventually all of Gotham. The similarity between the relationship of Harvey Dent and Rachel Dawes and Othello and Desdemona is also prominent through the film, as after each woman dies, the male turns to a state of chaos. The Joker manipulates Harvey just as Iago manipulates Othello, by saying how he wasn't to blame for the death of Rachel, as he was in Gordon's cage. I didn't rig those charges. Zooming in on the Joker's face and the absence of sound in the scene apart from the conversation entices the audience to think about the true intention of the Joker. This creates confusion and mixed feelings for Harvey, steering him from the truth, much like Iago to Othello, thus gaining power over Harvey. As Harvey begins to believe him, as the Joker allows him to hold a gun to his head to prove his honesty. The theme of the other is also presented in the film as in Othello, through the Joker talking to Batman saying, don't talk like you're one of them, you're not, even if you'd like to be. Seeing that he can't manipulate Batman, he admits that Batman is incorruptible, but he does not admit defeat, demonstrating that much like Iago's Machiavellian, 
the malcontent will forever be a part of society. Therefore, through this, we can see that storytelling will forever be used to attempt to gain power over both the vulnerable and the strong-willed. As the two texts have shown us, stories told by Machiavellians and characters of malcontent lead to the corruption and manipulation of the strong-minded. The stories that the Joker and Iago tell are similar in the way they present themselves. They are able to manipulate and corrupt Harvey Dent and Othello, transfiguring them into creatures of evil, and hence having the upper hand or power over them through their storytelling.